The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review. Movie Review, sponsored by The Game Store and More, Marion, North Carolina. Hoorah, and uh, well, that was so good. Thank you, sir. May, May I have, have another? another. Uh, Doing who and what? John Belushi in Animal House. Not just John Belushi Animal House, but the Double Secret Probation Double Edition. Double Secret Probation Edition. All right, straight up. Like I've I, and, and I got to thinking about this. When you enter like from like eighth grade on into high school, you end up seeing this movie at some point. It's kind of a rite of passage. Going into being a teenager, into that, you end up seeing Animal House at some point because it's just the most. No, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, but I mean, the cool kids. Yeah, the cool kids did it. The cool kids did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, yeah. uh, no, in Animal House, I gotta say, man, with, with uh, John Belushi. I mean, uh, it, it nice. I mean, it wasn't actually the whole total all star cast. But, but I it mean, was a cast had, of decent actors. Decent actors. You had Kevin Bacon. I think it was his first, one of his first movies. Uh, Tim Matheson. Uh, Tim Matheson, who you know went on. Uh, who was like the parts. like he was acting since he was a kid. I yeah. Mean, uh, uh, Karen. Karen Allen. Karen Allen. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of like I said John Belushi. And, uh, uh, and, and there's uh, there's several Ke others. Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland did. Yeah. So I mean. Um, and to see how these things go, um, and I gotta say, I gotta say, it's for Animal House and, and the way it is, it's a, it's based on a, a fraternity that's kind of in the, the dark side. The dark side. They're they're not in the graces of the other fraternities or the, uh, the dean. Yeah, uh, I mean so, they're basically they're, the, the the rowdy bunch. They're, they're, they're yeah, they're they're the rowdy bunch and and, and the, the, I guess what you say the the, the stink in the. In the soup, I guess what you call it, and, and people try to get rid of them. And, uh, so I mean, but in this movie, I, and I gotta say, I mean, you got great comedy. You got some great comedy. You got drama. You got, I mean, almost everything is in there. Yeah. But yeah. when you think of this movie, Animal House, what's the first thing that comes in your mind? Food fight. Food fight. You know, and I, I, the I, next I think one, of John. I'm yeah, surprised. I think of John. It, it's uh, he's just they said. Well, if you hear that, you put that they're synonymous together. There they go together. You think Animal House, Foo Fight. You think Foo Fight, Animal House. Yeah. And you know, so I mean, it, it's it's that it's become like American part of culture. Yeah. Um, what else we have with that? I mean, then we got like I said, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. You know, like, this is his first film. Like, he's, he's becoming a. Like a he pledge is. and stuff, and he's sitting over there making with the paddle, and he's like, "Thank you, sir. May I have another? May I have another?" So, <coughs> and uh, I mean, and then you got you got the professor, Donald Sutherland. <laughs> you know, with, with, I just laugh at that character. I mean, that uh, character is so out there. I mean, and I mean, 
that's the thing. He got known for playing kind of out there characters. He played Hawkeye in the Mesh movie, in the movie prior to the television series, and then you got um, the tank driver in Kelly's Heroes, and then you got him in the Dirty Dozen. Which in the Dirty Dozen, he he's kind of a little bit of a scatterbrained yeah, character. But then you know he goes on and then he's playing in some serious roles. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, but uh, the mechanic and uh, uh, and then uh, yeah, I mean he does. I mean, he progressed and all that stuff, but in those early years, he was really kind he's, of playing those kind of out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, got, I mean, you got to love him with, with the way he got with it. Yeah, right? I mean, so, I mean, I loved him in Kelly's Heroes with the, the cap. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but, he's, um, he, he was funny. But, but anyways. What, what is one of your, besides the food fight, what is one of your most memorable scenes? I gotta tell you, like, the one scene that sticks out in my mind as far as food fight, prior to the food fight, is John going through the food line and him sitting down with a plate of food. And, and, after and he gets all that stuff, he's sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he, they just look at him and he's like, You're just a P I G pig. Take a guess what I am now. <laughs> and he stuffs mashed potatoes in his mouth and I'm a zit. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's John. Uh, I mean, just just coming out. I mean, and I, and I guess the other thing I like is because I mean, you know, growing up back then, you know, you know, that course, you know, in in even in high school and in, in college, they had the panty rings, you know, and then he goes on this thing. He got this ladder up there, and, and he he's up there and he's looking at all these girls and all of a sudden he goes around and he finds this one girl and all of a sudden he's like <laughs> falls backwards and <laughs> he don't even move man his eyes are just pinned and as he goes backwards it's like <laughs> all you see is his eyes just pinned on her and, and actually I love how he moves the letter you can hear it and I'm like nobody's looking outside his, his facial expressions there the whole time I mean it's classic and, he, and I love how he breaks the fourth wall classical John he breaks the fourth wall because when he's looking at it he just like he stares yeah, at the he, camera he, like he, he knows like, it's there and like yeah, like just <laughs> and he just falls back I and mean, um the horse you have to love the horse and the, oh man the horse <laughs> and I gotta say that was one of my favorite movies I gotta say one of the funniest because when they take the horse in and <laughs> You know, I don't want to give it away. If you no, haven't no, no. seen Animal House no, 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 yet, I want you to go watch Animal because when you see what happened with the horse, you'll, you'll laugh. You're going to laugh. It, it, it's it's it's, it's <laughs> cloudy. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. all right. So I want to keep this one short. Because yeah, let's keep this one. If you're not seen, you got to go see it. You got to see it. It's a classic. It is a classic. It's a classic. So, all right, man. So on a Star system one to five for entertainment. Are you kidding? Five. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> five. Okay. Big five. I give five, yeah. But big five on that one. As far as one to five on uh, authenticity. I'm gonna give it a five. I mean mm -hmm. it's it's not really meant to show I guess, I mean, it does show the 60s in a little bit, but it's... Uh, I, I give it a... I'll give it a four. I'm kind of... Because some of the stuff they did was kind of unpractical. Uh, and, yeah, and, yeah you know, but... Move made for move. Yeah. But as far as... It, it's as, not even really it, meant to really show uh, it that accurately as, either, so, but... Uh, but, I mean, as far as, as it goes, uh, it, it was great for me. Um, Popcorn value, ten. four to ten. Ten. I, I'm giving it ten because it is, uh, it is funny. I mean, I didn't like how the ROTC was portrayed in it, but at the same time, um, and uh, you can look past that. I can, yeah, I can sort of look past just to see because some of the, some of the guys in the ROTC were, were just, just as bad. As I was, I was in ROTC. I was in uh, JROTC, and I'm pretty. I mean, you can tell you yeah. I mean. So, yeah. So it's uh, yeah. What the hell? Sorry. So. All right. So we got a five for ten. We got a nine, and then a twenty. That's pretty good. Very good. So, hoorah. So, all right. So, Animal House. Watch it, see it, love it, live it. You gotta watch it. You'll love it. If you don't love it, you'll respect it. You know what's coming from. Yeah. Screaming speed! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, for my 
myself, Del McCall, and my co-host, Nick Rebus. Nick the Rebus. The Revelator. The Rev. Whatever you want to call it, but you better call it with respect. We're out of here. Love, peace, and chicken, chicken grease. grease. Hurrah. Uh,